cut the cheese. I'm gonna cut a finger off. It's all for the cause. Of our standard traditional, this is just a two pound bag of shredded cheese that I have eaten forever. Unwittingly shoveling carbs into my mouth that I didn't know about. So when they shred cheese, they put like potato starch and things like that to keep it from binding together. Cause you know how when you shred your own cheese, how it gets kind of clumpy. Well, store-bought cheese never does that. Did you ever think about why? I never did. And it's because of those like potato starches that they have that are on the pre-shredded cheese. But of course those have carbs and if you're eating keto, potato starch is like not the thing that we want to put into our mouth. And then here's just like, you know, your standard block of cheese. So guys, let me show you this. This just about blew my mind. We have on the left, I took these serving sizes and I broke them down by ounce and by carbs to make it easy to understand. So on the left side, we have a two pound bag and on the right side, we have a one pound block, okay? You can see the price difference up there at the top, which is negligible. In the two pound bag, there's 32 ounces per bag. We'll say on the back, you see right there, 32 servings. That's one ounce per serving. And if you'll notice something, serving size is one third of a cup with one carb per serving. That means per cup, we're looking at three carbs. You can see down there at the bottom, that's where the additives that I was talking about, potato starch and powdered cellulose and whatnot to prevent caking. It says it right there, I just never saw it. I'm gonna show y'all how I shred mine and store it if you wanna see that at the end of the video. I'm also gonna make a delicious chaffle, but more on that in a minute. So you see right here, everything is the same except, look at that basically negligible carbs, okay? 16 ounces per block is one ounce per serving because it says 16 servings, one third of a cup per serving, zero carbs per serving, and zero carbs per cup. Is this a big deal? Well, three carbs per cup, yeah. When we get to something like this, let's say you're making a cheese dip and you use either one pound or two pound couple cups of cheese. Now we're talking about a lot of carbs, right? So if you were using two cups this cheese dip, if you were using the shredded cheese, you'd have six carbs, as opposed, if you shredded it yourself, you'd have basically no carbs. How did I not know this? Y'all leave a comment down below. Like, are there other things about keto that are this obvious that I did not know? So let me show you, cause you might think like, oh, it's just cheddar cheese. Um, and watch this little trick. I did not know this either. So here we have again, your regular shredded mozzarella, block mozzarella, both low moisture, part skim, but hold up. Look at this. I don't know if y'all ever noticed this before, but do you see that the serving size for mozzarella cheese is a quarter cup, whereas shredded cheddar was a third of a cup? That means that if you were just measuring it out, now I've always just used like a quarter cup as my serving. I didn't realize that there was a difference in the serving size between mozzarella and shredded cheddar, but that's an important thing to know. So again, same, right? 32 ounces, one ounce per serving, a quarter cup per serving, which means four servings in one cup. So now we have four carbs per cup, right? And what do we all make with mozzarella cheese? Like fathead dough, and then we dump it on top of our pizza. This is a standard fathead dough recipe, and it calls for 1.5 cups per crust. That's just the crust, not the cheese on top. That's six carbs per pizza crust. That's before we talk about whatever else you're putting on top, as opposed to effectively zero if you shred it yourself. I don't know if you guys knew about that, but I didn't know about that. Anyways, let's go shred some cheese and make ourselves a delicious, basically zero carb chaffle. We're going to use this food processor that I love. I know y'all did not think I was gonna sit here and shred this cheese by hand. This is the Cuisinart food processor. Oh, I use this thing multiple times a week. Here we go. Oh, yes. It could literally could not be any easier. Love shredded cheese. This feels like store-bought cheddar cheese. I'm thrilled. It's gonna get turned into a chapel. So let me do that. Oh, I love this thing. This is what I store our cheese in because we eat a lot of cheese. And look, it has this little and I put like a wet paper towel down here and then put this back on top because it absorbs moisture. Is one pound of this extra sharp cheddar and one pound of the mozzarella and that's how much it makes. It fills up half of this container. Do you all see this? 
this. I'm gonna go do questionable things to this chapel. I hope that keto hack helps you because I am so thrilled because I was like, all those hidden carbs, no, get out of here, be gone. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.